Hello, how are you all doing? I hope you are fine by God's grace. Very good. You are welcome to today's lesson on hope. Last time when we met, we discussed adolescence. We saw that adolescence is a transitional period between childhood and adulthood. And so, we looked at some of the challenges that adolescents go through. I hope you remember. Very good. Today, we are going to look at how to overcome such challenges, how to manage them. And so, glue yourselves to your seat and enjoy the lesson. Now, I hope you remember that we spoke about adolescents encountering problems such as the use of hard drugs. I hope you remember. And then sometimes even smoking, okay? Indulging in premarital sex. Hmm? Then through the premarital sex, most girls become teenage mothers. So we have a lot of teenage pregnancies. Okay, and if you become a father or a mother at a tender age, there is the likelihood that you will drop out of school because you cannot fend for yourself and that of the baby. Okay, and they also face problems such as streetism and poverty. Right, good. We are going to look at how to manage such problems. As for these problems, they would come, but how do we deal with them? That is why we are having this lesson today. So, the next strand or the next slide we have is going to tell us or we are going to look at how we can manage some of these problems. Good. Now, if you are an adolescent who encounters any of the problems we, we spoke about, what do we do? We tell our parents, okay? So, we have to receive counseling from a responsible adult. This responsible adult can be your mother, your father, perhaps your teachers. In fact, we spend most of our times in school, so the best person to speak to is your teacher. So make sure that if you are going through any problem of a kind, adolescent problems, make sure you speak to your teachers. If you can't speak to your teachers, your parents are there, speak to them. Maybe someone is pushing you into something that you don't like and you know your conscience tells you that it is a bad behavior. Yet, you don't have the will and the power to object to the person. What do you do? Speak to your parents and they will counsel you because they have gone through it. Your teachers have gone through it and they have survived and they are who they are today because they listen to advice. So you speak to elderly people, responsible people. I'm not saying just speak to anybody at all. The word is responsible. I hope you understand. Good. Another way you can overcome these problems is by discussing them with responsible peers and siblings. You may have peers that will always um, give you good advice are you getting it? such peers you can you can share your problems with them and you may also have elderly sisters or brothers okay they have gone through your stage so they are in the best position to give you that sound advice that you need i hope you understand good the next one is that you should dress in a modest way to avoid enticing the opposite sex. And here, I will stress on female dressing. As for the males, we don't have too much problems. 
But you see, if you can remember, back in class 5, we discussed some of the physical changes that adolescents go through. And one of these changes is that the females will now develop bigger breasts. They have slender hips. Okay, that Coca-Cola shape. And it is pleasing to the eye. I hope you understand. Good. And everybody would like to watch such nice figures. If you are a girl who likes exposing parts of your body to the outside world to watch, then it means that you want to entice boys to have sexual intercourse with you. That is not to say that boys should also come after you because you are dressing in such way. But you see, as you advise the mouse, you advise the cat. Okay? So dress in a modest way, cover all parts. As there is a saying in Akan that Akatesia Katawuhusi. I hope you have heard this before. Good. So as an, a, 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 a girl from a responsible home, you would have to dress and dress well. I hope you understand. Good. Let's continue. Another point is that we should, we should be assertive. We should have that self-confidence and courage to say no. Okay? Someone is enticing you to have premarital sex with you. Say no. It is your decision. Okay? The person cannot force you. Hmm? If you don't go into the room of the person, how can the person have you? Don't go in isolated places with the person. The person cannot have you. Are you getting it? So have that confidence to say no because you have a lot of things ahead of you. Some of you have great aspirations. You want to be teachers, you want to be lawyers, you want to be doctors. The moment someone takes advantage of you, the moment you are not able to say no to a bad uh, behavior or a bad decision, your future is mad. Your future is on the verge of collapsing. So please, let us learn to say no. Let's be assertive. I hope you understand. Good. Now, let's respect the sexual rights of others, not forcing to have sex with others. As I was talking about dressing in a modest way, this one goes to you, the boys. The girl has dressed. Some parts are exposed to the world. That does not mean you should pounce on them. That does not mean you should force them to have sex with them. We should respect the sexual rights of others. We shouldn't force ourselves on people to have sex with them. That is rape. I hope you understand. And rape is a crime. So please, let us respect the sexual rights of others. This also goes to the girls. As for boys, when they are raped, mostly they don't report. But girls do the reporting most of the time. Girls can also rape boys. But please, in all this, let us keep it in our mind that rape is a crime and that we should respect the sexual rights of others. Well, too soon, we've come to the end of yet another interesting topic. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please watch this video well. I will upload notes on this lesson for you to download and read for more understanding. We shall meet again another time. But before we go, keep it in your head that Corona is real. Please observe all the safety protocols and stay safe. Take care of yourself. We will meet again another time. Bye for now.